What is up everyone, my name is Vlad the Crypto Trader, part of the Be Independent Tribe and today we're gonna go over Bitcoin Technical Analysis 101. This is a critical point, not gonna lie. And I think actually most traders would agree on this. At least that are looking at the bigger picture. And I'm seeing, I'm saying here the bigger picture because as you can see, uh, we have a drawing to, to, well, to understand first. Uh, but I think the best way to understand is always to do it live. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove everything. And in case you don't know or you don't use your FIP tool or you've never heard of it, uh, I'm a really big fan of the FIP tool. I think it tells you a lot about how price uh, acts across different levels and what it can possibly do. And what I want you to take from this bigger bigger range that we highlighted here is that uh, this is FIB tool knowledge 101 by the way is that a trend is not broken until it clears the 618 retracement so in case you've been in crypto for some time maybe last time um, you know, we've been in a prolonged bear market. Yeah, I'm going to use the word prolonged here because two years is like a century in crypto uh, com in comparison with how quick it can move sometimes. Uh, we've been in a bear market and now we're more in an accumulation p phase. But nevertheless, uh, what you would like to see, let's say textbook, is once we were here, consolidate, breakout, retest, continuation. This breakout right here would suggest that we are out of the bear market. Of course, that was not the case, as we all know. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to continue with adding more information to our chart. So first we took the range high of the range low of the macro pattern. And now we're going to take the range, the lo more local range high. And we're going to take the macro range low. And next one, we're going to take also the macro range, uh, the local range high, excuse me, and the local range low. Over here. So that's that's a bit more about what's coming next. But for now, I would like you to note how these Fib Fibonacci levels actually, you know, if you look with attention into, um, you know, with actually, to if you give importance to what you observe, uh, we can clearly see here already two levels aligning. And I just love this. Of course, the top coincides with the 618 here. Uh, and also the 618 of the smaller pattern coincides with the 382. And actually, this is where we are. This is one of the reasons. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a, a key point in uh, Bitcoin's price action. As we, can, as we can see over here. I don't even need to say anything. The price just tells us for itself. So if we zoom in a bit, like so, and we do the same thing. We take the top and we take the range low. So the more local range low, nevertheless. So here, if we just move it, zoom it clear which levels we're highlighting, we can clearly see, and if we go a bit back again, we can clearly see that there's just you know, a plethora of levels, of three levels. So the 382 of the macro, right? And the 618, the three, this is the 382. <laughs> I got confused here again as well. Wait, this is the macro, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just think, why don't you move? I don't want to move. Wait, let's try it. Let's try another way. So, there's definitely the 382 of the macro. The 618. Yeah, so this is the 618 of the second larger. So, with the high here and the low here, this is the six, that 618. And we also have the 382 which is from this top to this low yeah excuse me there <coughs> got a bit confused myself <laughs> um but yeah this this is all to say that if you're you know 
all of a sudden bullish right now. We are pretty much retesting what's really high resistance here. Um, you know, uh, there's a potential three dri drive top here. If you zoom in a bit more, I could see an argument for a falling wedge, uh, rising wedge. Excuse me, not falling, rising. Um, yeah, keep drawing, keep drawing mode. Yep, yep. So here, rising wedge, uh, typically bearish, could also melt up to the upside. Could also melt up, you know, and go past 10k and then cancel down. Of course, like price, price is not price is free to do whatever it wants but just in probability terms <coughs> so what i'm what i'm seeing right here is actually this is the local top right now and we consolidate here and we break it right and then, then do other things or we actually go whoop and then this way so either way I'll be looking, I'll be looking at higher time frames, not, you know, even for hourly, I'll be looking at dailies minimum um, to see what it really does here. And I mean, perhaps, uh, so this, yeah, so this was the bearish case and well, the bullish case is I would like to see a clean break of 10k. So I, I'm not even interested in the 0.5. I want much more volume than this. And we're going to see it. We're going to zoom out for in a second uh, for the bigger time frames. I want a break of 10k, a retest, and a continuation. So what is this beauty that I drew here? So wait. <laughs> Stay on the dry, on drawing mode, they said. So much bigger pattern here than these smaller ones. And also much, much more volume than this. This is not, well, it's something, but it's, it's not significant. It's not significant. I would expect much more volume uh, coming through such a big resistance point. <coughs> and if I haven't my point clear, I think this level is key i think it'll it'll attract a lot of a lot of sellers that have bought lower a lot of shorts as well given this you know retest 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 break retest so can retest again and move lower and and perhaps this is a good point a moment to introduce you know anything can be seen as an opportunity and in case Bitcoin even breaks these lows, I don't think it's going to go back to 3K per se, uh, but I think it could retest this low right here. So test it. So come back. So closer to the 236 here. I think that's still possible. And this is where if you have a, a Bitcoin stack where you just are constantly transferring fiat to BTC, as uh, you know, as a longer term play, I think this is really a good opportunity to to stack up. In case, of course, you have Bitcoin longs open, uh, you wouldn't like this. Uh, but there's always anything can be seen as a, an opportunity, right? So even if your longs close, assuming you're not your your trading size is not bigger than uh, or much bigger uh, than your accumulation. Cap like capital per se I hope you get what, you, what I meant there uh, Bitcoin at these levels is actually a really good opportunity that might be the last one that comes so have that in mind have that in mind when you know the world seems to be fa like falling it's probably because you're just you just have too much size you just have too much size trading uh, with too much leverage on BitMEX or whatever other platform you use <coughs> so that's my outlook for Bitcoin. Um, I hope you took some value from this video. In case, in case you did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to let me know uh, that that was the case. 
and well i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you the next time around take care